I have a new camera and basically I've got a screen that I can see myself in and check that I'm not blurry but it's cool um it's another review guys and it's possibly my biggest one to date Blah! on Friday the 17th of March Beauty and the Beast was released and so far it's broken box office records I think I hope maybe and I went to see it Friday night and Saturday night and I might be going tonight which is Sunday shows how much I loved it Oh, this is going to be a spoiler filled review today because I feel like I can't do a review about this film without putting some spoilers in but if you've seen the 1991 version of Beauty and the Beast this isn't going to be a spoiler review for you but so if you don't want to see my spoiler review bye but if you do hello so basically I went Friday night to see Beauty and the Beast with two friends the three of us are very very excited because we love Disney and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favourite Disney films and from start to finish we were vroom, silent silent there was nothing and uh, I got the giggles this is the problem I've got the giggles okay so the beginning we'll start from the beginning always a good place to start you get a background story of how Beast became the Beast and if you know your Disney trivia apparently I'm not sure the Beast's name is Prince Adam I don't know but I think it has been confirmed by Disney but anywho it is a fantastic fantastic start it's nice to show physically how he became the Beast and why the villagers forgot about him. You know, the Enchantress put a spell on the village so they would forget about him. And that was cool. I thought it was nice because you, I, that's what I never understood about the 91 version is that you know, you've got this massive castle in a forest and then these villagers have forgotten about him. And it's, yeah, so it's quite cool that they've done that. Okie dokie. All right, that's the first bit. First second bit, we move straight on to Emma Watson. I was very weary because she is not a trained singer and you know there was the release clips of her singing and I'm like okay so far so good but I will say her voice is exquisite it's amazing she is fantastic in this film and I cannot see her as Hermione anymore she's now Belle <laughs> She, oh, she will be Hermione for most people, so I don't care. I think that this film is perfect for her because she made it her own. Apparently she asked for Belle to be more the invent inventor than her father, which is quite amazing actually. It shows that, that Belle is an independent woman. She's very headstrong, very feminist, which is what Emma Watson is. But it was nice to see that in that period of time. So that's one part of Emma Watson. There's going to be more parts about it on the way. Second part is <laughs> Luke Evans as Gaston and Josh Gad as Lafou. They are hilarious together. Absolutely hilarious. They. I don't know. <laughs> they are just so funny together. I, it, it, oh, I don't know how to explain them. I didn't. I when I watched the film yesterday, my head went. I actually would have preferred Luke Evans as the Beast, but then I couldn't see anybody else playing Gaston. He has got a set of pipes on him, man. He is Welsh. Got to give him that. <laughs> 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 
but Josh Gad singing Gaston was the possibly the most funniest part of the whole entire film. I was crying laughing. And my friends were looking at me like, oh, why is this so funny? I was like, it's, a it's hilarious. And I, I, I whispered to my friend, I said, I can't see him as Lafu properly because all I can hear is Olaf. Because <laughs> all I can think though is, that's Olaf singing to Gaston. They're flipping hilarious, I have to say. They are hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the cattle. Oh my God. Wow. I like that they showed how basically the castle became hidden. We you know there's a tree in the way and then it got... And it... <laughs> you go in and he got... Ian McKellen as Cogsworth, you've got Ewan McGregor as Lumiere, you've got Emma Thompson as Mrs. Potts, and it's just, those, the, those three were the funniest, and Chip, I can't remember who played Chip, but he was cute, he was very cute, and you know, you look at them and you're like, wow, they've put no facial characteristics of the actors into the objects so that's kind of cool so it's nice that you don't visualize the actors as these these the objects you can obviously tell that um ian mckellen's playing cogsworth cogsworth because he's got that you know distinctive voice but ewan mcgregor's very good french accent even though he complained about it sounding mexican on a graham norton um <laughs> interview emma thompson she's just so good with her um voice she you couldn't really you could tell it was here, but then you, you're second guessing sometimes. And that was amazing. Oh my god, I'm just going to say that word all day. It's amazing! Yeah. Chocolate. Right. I think the reason this film has become successful is the a relationship shown between Belle and the Beast. It's so gradual, it's unbelievable. You can see that they're like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> You've kidnapped me. You're a prisoner. All of a sudden you're like, oh my God. These two are so cute together. And I will admit it, I cried from one part to another and then from that last second part to the end I never stopped the first part I cried on was the library <sighs> the library scene oh, I'm getting I'm tearing up oh. <sighs> I actually tear it up because remembering it is just amazing oh you you look at it and you can see emma watson's shock at it i'm not sure if that was right i hope that was a real library i wanted to find it if it is you know and you can feel her emotions just going oh my god 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 this place is awesome that's one of the reason why i want to be Belle. i want the library that's it nothing else yeah <laughs> apart from that the second part I cried was where the beast takes Belle to I think it's Montmartre the display Montmartre they're putting it as I'm not sure I'll have to double check that and which is quite hilarious because Montmartre is where Moulin Rouge is and who was in the Moulin Rouge Hugh McGregor that was funny. I just basically went, oh, that bit is quite emotional. That I'm going to leave spoiler free because that is something that pulls at your heartstrings. I'm not going to say what happens. Okie dokie. The biggest scene for me, the ball. That dress, his coat, the dance, the song. Oh, I want one. 
That was so beautiful. I cried both times. I cried Saturday and Friday watching that scene because oh, I'm tearing up again. Oh my God. It was fab. And it was, it, you just look at it and you're there going, oh, I want one. I think I said that afterwards very, just, I want one. Yeah. But that was beautiful. The most compelling part was the fight on the castle rooftops between the beast and Gaston. And you're there going, you can see the beast is given up because Belle's gone, and then she's back, and then he's fighting for everything, and then I'm That was quite heartbreaking. I went with my friends, and one of my friends has two little girls, and I sat in between the two of them. I had one here, one here. One was Nuna falling asleep next to me and the other one was crying. She's only four and she was crying because the beast had died. <laughs> and it was so cute and she was she was proper <sighs> But you know, we explained to her what you know, what happened. She understood. <laughs> but she's so cute. I like Dan Stevens as the beast, but he's strange as I'm gonna call him Adam. As Adam. I don't know why, it just I just looked at him and they go I don't know. But to be fair, you just you're just glad he was alive, really. <laughs> Down to Nappy feels. But uh, But apart from that guys, I will recommend this to anybody, even if you haven't seen the 1991 version. If you just want to go and have a good film. It's a date film. Guys, take your girls. It is a date film. But apart from that, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. This is my highest score this year. A 10 out of 10. I felt like there's nothing wrong with it. I really do. I will. There's nothing wrong with it. I can't even think. I'm like panicking now, thinking, oh my god, there's something wrong with it. Was there just something wrong with it? Apart from, I, to, he was, Dan Stevens, he's alright as the beast, but yeah, okay, I like him. Overall, that film was beautiful. The cinematography was beautiful. The, oh, the writing, the actors. It's just, it's a beauty. <laughs> Fun. So guys, I hope you're all well. Pop a comment down below if you have seen the film and tell me what you think. What was your mark out of 10? And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Hope you're all well. Take care. Bye.